Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about creating brand page for the admin. So let's see how can we create the brand page. Uh, first of all, uh, let's create a new model and migration for the brand. So go to the command prompt. And first of all, just stop the running application. And now for creating the model and migration, uh, let's run the command php artisan make colon model a space model name uh, let's say model name is brand and for creating the migration just add here dash m and now hit enter okay model and migration both are created now go to the project and let's open the brands migration so just go inside the database directory then migration and from here let's open create brand table migration and inside this schema let's add uh, some more column here so right here table a string name and then uh, slug okay and another one which is image okay name slug and image and now save this file and now let's migrate this migration so go to the command prompt and uh, for migrating the migration just run the command php artisan migrate okay now hit enter okay migration done now run the application so write here php artisan so okay and now uh, let's create the brand page so for that go to the app directory then http controllers and from here let's open admin controller and now inside this admin controller let's create another function public function and the function name brands right and inside this uh, just create a variable brands and let's fetch here the brand so add here the brand model and then colon colon order by id descending okay and then call here the paginate method Paginate and set the default size 10 10 records okay so write here 10 and now just return return view and pass here the view name so first of all add the folder name had been and then view name which is brands okay and also return this brands to the view so right here compact and uh, inside this just pass this branch okay now save this file now let's create the route for this function so go to the wave.php file and here inside the admin route group uh, let's create a new route here route get and add the uri admin slash Brands. Then controller name inside the big packet. Admin uh, controller colon colon class and method name which is this one brands. Now give the route name name which is admin dot brands okay now save this now let's uh, create this view brands view so go to the resources directory and then views admin and here let's create a new file brands.blade.php okay and now uh, first of all let's add here the layout so right here uh, extend layouts of admin okay and then add the section contained and just close the section end section 
all right and now go to the template directory here is the template file go back to the admin folder and here let's open this one this one branch.html file in text editor so open with visual studio code and now from here let's find the main section which is this one okay so let's copy this and go to the plants.blade.php file and inside this contained section just paste here okay now inside this dashboard link just remove this index.html and add the route here route and route name which is admin.index okay and then let's display here the name slug and product number of products and elections okay so inside this table body and uh, just before this tr let's add here the forage and we need forage and now let's cut this and paste after this closing tr tag okay and uh, then inside the forage is right here plants edge dollar brand okay and uh, here display the id so double curly bracket dollar brand arrow id and uh, here display the brand image and name here okay so right here name double curly bracket dollar brand arrow name and now display here the uh, brand slug so right here dollar brand arrow slug and this time number of products let's say hard code here zero and uh, here is the id now let's display the image so for the image uh, just right here inside the src double curly bracket asset and just pass here the path of the brands okay so uh, for that i'm just going to create a new folder inside the project so just go to the project directory this is the project directory now just go to the public folder and now here create a new folder which is uploads and inside the uploads folder create another one which is brands brands okay now here let's add the path asset uploads slash brands and now after this just add the forward slash and then this uh, uh, just add here the image name okay so brand arrow image okay and inside the alt tag just add here the brand name so right here brand name okay and now after this table just add here the pagination link so inside this pagination div uh, list add let's add here double curly bracket dollar plants arrow links okay and inside this just pass here the uh, template type because uh, 
here we are using the HTML Bootstrap 5 template. Okay, so just add here inside the link, just pass here pagination pagination colon colon bootstrap dash 5. Okay, it will generate the bootstrap 5 pagination link. Now save this file. Now it's done. Uh, one more thing, I'll go to the admin layout file. So just go inside the resources directory and admin and uh, sorry layouts. And uh, from here, let's open admin.blade.php file. And here just add the branch link. So here is the brand links. Okay. So inside this link, just to remove this branch of HTML and add here the link route and just pass here the route name which is admin dot brands okay this one admin dot brands now save this file now it's done so let's check so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and now just click on and go inside the brand and now click on brands Here is order direction must be the sending assignment. Okay, spelling mistake. I think go to the admin controller order by you can see here this task is added here. Okay, so order by ID only write D E S C. Okay, for descending order and ASC for ascending order. So now save this and do this again and you can see here the branch page. Okay, this time it's no showing any branch because there are there is no any branch in the table. And just refresh the page and you can see here the branch table is empty. In next video, we will see how can we add the new branch. And uh, here logo is not showing, so let's check. So go to the layout file and uh, here is the layout file. Let's find the logo. Okay, this is the logo. So inside this logo, let's add here asset. Okay, double curly bracket, then asset, single quote, and just close this. Now save this file and uh, refresh the page now again it's not showing okay let's find this id so has set image logo and this one okay so uh, image is not single still here uh, let's Change the ID, logo header, just add here the one. Okay, underscore one. Now save this and if I refresh the page. Okay, you can see here the logo. In next video, we will see how can we add the brand. So in this way, you can create the admin brands page. So that's all about creating the brand page. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.